so hemocytoblast interleukin 3 then we come to the uh, myeloid so i'm not talking about lymphoid at this time so myeloid progenitor cell progenitor which then gives rise to uh, granulocyte granulocyte blast cell or myelocyte i should say myelo myeloblast which gives rise to the um, granulocyte and um, monocyte so granulocyte granuloblast so what would i say here i'll say myelo pro myelocyte and here mono monocyte related so now what is important very important thing is this we have chemical substances which can come and act on these cells so think about it if we if we stimulate the myeloblast that would make more and more of granulocytes and monocytes correct so this is called this is called what is it doing increase the granulocyte increase the monocytes so can i say granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor colony stimulating factor granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor and why do we call them colony stimulating factor or colony forming units the the cell here this cell here is called colony forming unit and the chemical substance here is called colony stimulating factor what does that mean what that means is if you pick up the cell put it in a culture medium and stimulate it it's going to make a colony of cells of this type that is why we say this is a colony forming unit this cell is stimulated by this chemical substance and this chemical substance pushes the cell to make colonies or to differentiate and divide so this is a colony stimulating factor it's a chemical substance and this is a colony forming unit it's a cell so the cell is the unit it can make more of those type and the factor is the one which is chemical things and are going to go and attack it, uh, uh, stimulate it then so we have gmcsf then we have what do you think what is this this is granulocytes right granulocytes so if something only stimulates this these cells here and their production what should they be called they should be called g csf right granulocyte colony stimulating factor and similarly if something some chemical substance stimulates more monocyte production so then when it works on this cell this substance should be called what this should be called of course it's going to be called colony stimulating factor but colony of what monocytes monocyte colony stimulating factor right so gmcsf is going to act on a cell which is going to increase granulocytes and monocytes gcsf is going to act on a cell which would only make more granulocytes what does that mean more eosinophils more basophils more neutrophils mcsf is going to act on the monocyte and what does that mean more monocyte more macrophages when do you think we need more monocyte and macrophages in the chronic infections when do we need more neutrophils in the acute infections right okay then remember this that we also have il3 which works here works here as well il6 that works here as well and then some other uh, chemical substances as well which would which would work here to increase the population again because of our lecture today is on the neutrophils what we are very interested in seeing is where does this come from where does this come from 
and I will give you a hint now macrophages release that. So when the defense action is happening neutrophils are working and macrophages think we need more neutrophil bring more soldiers on bring them in then we would get the message GCSF and GMCSF from the macrophage going to the bone marrow stimulating it to produce more neutrophils right. So do not forget that macrophages are not only taking part in defense mechanism they are not only effectors of final activity and fight they are also sending hotline they are calling on the phone and saying okay send more neutrophils send more monocytes and how are this sending those messages GCSF GMCSF and so on. Guys thank you very much for watching make sure that you like this video if you like it if you do not like it then do unlike like this video subscribe to the channel and please share this channel with others as well.